configuring UCSM and HXDP. Log in to the HXDP installer using default root credentials. Read and accept the terms and conditions. Click on Cluster Creation. You can either enter the required credential information manually and click Continue, or you can import the values from a JSON file. Click Use Configuration and enter the passwords. If you're adding another cluster to a pre-existing one, we recommend you use this option. Click Continue. You'll receive an overwrite imported values warning message. Click Keep Imported Values to apply the custom values for the configuration. On the Server Selection page, select the unassociated servers that you want to include in the HX Data Platform Storage Cluster. Deselect any servers that you don't want in the HX Cluster. To identify the servers, turn on the LED locator rack lights by sliding the bar to the right. You can click on the Export button to save this configuration, or you can click on the Start Over button in case of errors. If there are no unassociated servers, you'll receive a No Unassociated Servers Found message. Log in to UCS Manager and ensure server ports are enabled. Click Continue. On the UCS Manager configuration page, Enter information for VLAN for Management Network, Storage Traffic, VMotion, and VM Network. Change the names for the second cluster since every cluster should have a different name. Note: The installer sets the VLANs as non-native by default. Be sure to configure the upstream switches to accommodate the non-native VLANs. Enter the MAC pool address, the IP pool for out-of-band CIMC, subnet mask, and default gateway. Under Advanced Settings, enter the FI firmware version compatible with the ESX host. Enter a name for the HX cluster and for the suborg under which the HX cluster is created. Make sure it's different for each of the additional clusters. Click Continue. Configure the common hypervisor settings by entering IPs for subnet mask, gateway, and DNS servers. Enter the static IP addresses and host names for each of the HX nodes. Be sure to check the Make IP Addresses and Host Name Sequential checkbox. Click Continue. On the IP Addresses page, enter the Management Hypervisor and Storage Controller IP addresses for connection between the ESX host and storage cluster in sequential order. These values were recorded in the Excel sheet as part of the pre-install requirement. Then enter the data hypervisor and storage controller IP addresses for each of the HX nodes. Note: When you enter the IP addresses in the first row, the Cisco HX Data Platform Installer applies an incremental autofill for the rest of the nodes. The minimum number of nodes in a storage cluster is 3. Enter the cluster management net IPs for the cluster IP address, subnet mask, and gateway in order to connect from a public net and enter the cluster data IPs for the cluster IP address, subnet, mask, and gateway for a private net. If you have more nodes, use the Add Server button to provide the address information. Note that you can export this configuration for future reference. Click Continue. On the Cisco HX cluster page, enter a cluster name and replication factor. 3 is the default. Enter and confirm a controller VM password for the admin user of the HX cluster. Enter the associated vCenter data center name created for the Cisco Hyperflex cluster and the vCenter cluster name. In the system services area, Enter the IP addresses of each DNS server separated by commas and IP addresses of each NTP server. All hosts must use the same NTP server for clock synchronization between services running on storage controller VMs and ESX hosts. And select your local time zone. In the auto support area, 
check the checkbox to enable auto support notification to Cisco TAC. Then enter the mail server, mail sender, and ASUP recipients fields. In the advanced networking area, use the default unless directed by a Cisco rep. In the advanced configuration area, select the checkbox for VDI deployment only if you're running in a VDI environment. Select the Jumbo Frames checkbox to set the MTU size to 9000 for the storage data network and clean up disk partitions to remove all existing data and partitions from all the nodes that you're adding. Be sure to back up any data you need before this step. Enter vCenter single sign-on server URL only if the SSO is not reachable. Click Start to create the cluster. A progress page displays the progress of various configuration tasks and will validate all the settings. If the warnings are acceptable, click Skip Validations. Otherwise, address the errors and click Retry Validations. The bar on the top shows the progress of various tasks. After all the tasks are complete, the HX nodes are installed and configured. The Deploy cluster shows Online and Healthy status. The Summary tab shows all the configuration details for the newly created cluster. Click Launch vSphere Web Client to go to vCenter and create data stores and manage your clusters.